For example, the sentence, there are no sentences in English longer than three words, is self-refuting. The sentence itself is longer than three words. So the sentence refutes itself, or the statement uh, made uttering the sentence. Uh, the statement, I do not exist, is self-refuting. Uh, the statement, I can't speak a word of English, uh, is self-refuting. Uh, the statement that there are no truths is self-refuting. And the statement that there can be no knowledge of reality outside the hard sciences is not something that can be known through the hard sciences. In fact, if you think about it, the statement, we can't know reality outside the hard sciences, is not really a statement of science, it is a statement about science. Turns out it's actually a philosophical statement that says that we can't know philosophical statements. Let me illustrate this. Years ago, I was speaking at an evangelistic event in Baltimore, Maryland, and I was told that there was a very vicious atheist uh, who was a, had his PhD from Johns Hopkins University and been an engineer for 30 years, really hated Christianity, and a person was gonna bring his boss uh, to this little evangelistic gathering where I was going to be sharing my faith. Well, I was at the hors d'oeuvre table before the event got going, and I saw this gentleman walk in the door with his boss. And sure enough, they made a beeline to the hors d'oeuvre table, and uh, this, this uh, friend of mine introduced me to this gentleman. And no sooner did we exchange pleasantries when he said, well, I understand that you're a philosopher and a theologian. And I said, well, I give it my best shot. <laughs> and he said, yeah, he said, I used to be interested in that myself when I was a teenager but I've outgrown it now because I realize now that if you can't test it and quantify your data and measure it in the laboratory, it's nothing but a bunch of idle speculation and hot air. You ever heard anybody express that attitude? A lot of people have that attitude. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I let him go for about another two minutes. And then I interrupted her and said, excuse me, but uh, I have a question I'm a little bit puzzled. If I understand you correctly, if you can't quantify something in the lab and test it scientifically, then the assertion is nothing but idle speculation, a bunch of hot air. And he said, that's absolutely right. He said, I've believed this for a long time. And I said, well, you've said 30 or 40 sentences uh, that have come out of your mouth in the last two minutes. And of the 30 or 40 things you've said, I can't think of a single thing that can be tested scientifically. <laughs> I said, if I'm wrong, would you show me which statement you've made that is scientifically testable? But if I'm right, you see my dilemma? <laughs> what you've been saying for the last two minutes is nothing but a bunch of <laughs> Well, he changed the subject very quickly. 